Hey, it's Haley at Seamwork, and today I am going to talk all about the fabric that we used for the October 2021 issue of Seamwork. This month we have two really, really cool patterns that I'm super excited about and super proud of. They're extra special because we fit them on both male and female bodied people, and so the fit works really well on both body types. We have the Ryan t-shirt, which is like the ultimate t-shirt, and the Larkin bomber. Let's get into it. First up, we have the Ryan t-shirt. So the Ryan t-shirt has two different versions. This is version one. It has this nice, very kind of high cut V-neckline and short sleeves. The fit of this t-shirt is pretty straight throughout. And because of this, because it doesn't rely on a ton of negative ease to fit your curves and your bumps, you can use something that isn't super duper stretchy. What we're, what we're recommending for this pattern is something that has a two-way stretch. So that means that it just stretches from side to side, not necessarily needing a lot of stretch in the length, but if your fabric has four-way stretch, that's cool too. We're recommending two-way stretch with at least 25% stretch in the width. So this really opens it up to so many knit fabrics. So you're gonna have a lot of fun choosing fabric for this project. You can look for uh, jersey knits, cotton, soy, bamboo, anything in that ballpark. Anything that's a little bit drapier will be harder to sew, so keep that in mind. Wool jersey would also be lovely, as would any kind of French terry, rib knits, um, all would be amazing choices for this t-shirt. This sample is probably the drapiest fabric that we chose for this photo shoot. This is a soy cotton spandex blend. It's really soft and drapey. Um, because it has that soy content though, it, it is a little bit clingier. So if that's a quality that you like in your t-shirts, definitely look for something with soy or bamboo or other kinds of rayons because they do tend to cling to the body a little bit more. Now we have version two. Version two has this really classic crew neckline and nice long sleeves. I like these sleeves because I wouldn't call them super fitted or boxy. It's just like this really perfect slender fit sleeve, which I think looks so good on everyone. Show off those arms. Both versions also has this great little patch pocket which you could leave off if you don't like pockets. I don't know very many people who don't like pockets though. For this sample and this ivory sample, I actually chose French terry. I think something just about the long sleeve just was begging to be super cozy. Um, and both of these French terries are a little bit different. This one is a bamboo cotton blend. So it, it has this like a little bit heavier feel to it. Um, but it's really soft and lightweight and breathable, while this is more heavily cotton, and so it's kind of fluffy and um, totally different hands, but the same type of fabric, which is always really cool to look at. And then if those options were not enough for you, we also have some really cool member bonuses. Um, the member bonus for the Ryan T adds a placket to turn it into a Henley. This is another case where we have two of the same kinds of fabric, but they're a little bit different in fiber content. So this guy here, the, these are both um, cotton spandex jerseys. This has a little bit higher spandex content, so it has like a really stretchy feel to it. You, it almost feels like a little bit more synthetic when you touch it. Uh, the fit is probably like a little bit more forgiving on this version as to this version. And this guy is cotton and spandex, but a little bit more cotton than the green version. And again, I think that cotton adds like kind of a fluffiness um, to the hand of knits. So if that kind of like cozy, worn in t-shirt fabric, really appeals to you. I mean, cotton's classic, you can't really go wrong with it. 
Next up, we have the Larkin Bomber. Larkin is such a cool pattern. It is a classic bomber jacket. It's completely lined. It has the knit ribbing at the neckline, at the sleeve cup, and at the hemband. It has that separating zipper with the beautiful zipper guard. And it also has welt pockets, which is a really fun skill to have up your sleeve and to practice. So you're gonna have to shop for a few different kinds of fabrics and notions for this project. For the shell, you're gonna wanna look for a medium to heavyweight fabric. Now you could go like kinda like classic bomber and do like a uh, satin. That would be cool. That would be in the lighter weight range of things. Or you could go with a twill, a denim, a canvas, corduroy, moleskin. There's really a ton of options here to play with and have fun with. Something to keep in mind though is that the heavier your fabric is, the thicker it is, the harder that some of these details at the welt pocket can get. So if you have a machine that just like isn't up for the task, maybe steer towards something a little bit lighter weight. Uh, for the lining, you're gonna wanna look for something that is nice and lightweight. Typically something with a nice smooth hand is gonna work well just because it's gonna wear over your clothes really nice and there won't be a lot of friction and catching on your sweater. And then for your ribbing, uh, this is a really specialty kind of notion. You probably are gonna have the best luck shopping for it online. We bought this ribbing from a Etsy seller. We'll link to her shop in the bio. But what's really great about this particular ribbing is it has um, a good amount of stretch to it. It recovers really well. It has some spandex in it. And I think that's kind of a quality that I always look for in my ribbing. That was kind of a mouthful. Let's talk about the fabrics that I chose for this photo shoot. So first up, we have this red orange twill. It is an eight ounce twill, um, which is like a little bit on the lighter weight side. If your machine isn't you know, up for the heavy duty stuff, something in this weight is gonna be really lovely. And I think that it kind of gathers up at the cuffs really nicely and just, it's a great sample. I feel good about it. As for the lining, this is just a like acetate kind of lining. There's nothing really special about it, except that it's a really pretty color, which I like. For our second sample, this is like our heavier weight sample. This is a 10 ounce bull denim. It's a brushed bull denim. So it has like a little bit smoother hand. It feels really luxurious. Um, I'm excited about this. My husband modeled this one, which means that I get to steal this from him and from his closet, which I'm very pleased about. Uh, I sewed this one myself. I can say that my machine was not super happy to be going through all these layers, but I have kind of an older machine. If you have a newer, machine or something a little sturdier than my old Kenmore, I don't think you'll have a problem with it. thought this print was really cool. It has just enough kind of slip to make it work over a wool sweater or something like that. Whew, those are all of the samples that we used in the October 2021 issue of Seamwork. I'm really excited about these patterns and I hope you all are too. Have you ever made a bomber jacket before? If not, what is your favorite outerwear project? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time and happy sewing.